Let's take a minute to talk a little bit about short stitches. Short stitches is a setting within the properties of Design Shop and it deals with kind of the insides of sharp angles and sharp curves and how those stitches uh, kind of penetrate and how close the inside is versus the outside. I'm going to zoom in really tightly here on this little chunk of the E. And this does not deal only with lettering, but this is a very convenient place to see what we're talking about. And you'll notice that my stitches are changing where they occur. So they're kind of stepping in and out as they come around. And that's happening where the inside is so short compared to the outside. If I go into my properties and look at my top stitching, I'm really looking in, in kind of two places for this setting. One is this checkbox here, and the other is this box up here on my toolbar. And it's an enable it or disable it kind of setting. So right now, I'm going to close my property since I have access to it up here, and I'm going to turn my short stitches off. And when I do, you can see just how close all of these stitches come. And behind my lettering, I have a circle. And believe it or not, we are so zoomed in, that circle is the size of the diameter of the needle that you are most likely sewing with. That's, that's actually the size of a 7010 needle, not even a 7511. So it's a little bit smaller than, than what a lot of people sew with. It's what I tend to sew with. But you'll notice I have three, almost four, almost five stitches on this area and then if I if I move this you can see just how many more stitches in that area are sinking into where one single needle penetration is going to be so let me undo that move it back and when I turn on short stitches you can see that it begins alternating those stitches back and forth so I'm not sinking nearly as many needle penetrations uh, in in the same area so short stitches what it, what it really kind of accomplishes for you is it prevents those holes inside of letters that you can sometimes see on, on other people's embroidery. Um, you, you, of course, are using all the tools available to you to prevent that, and this is one of those tools so that you don't have that issue. But if you happen to see that issue, this might be what's happening to you. Maybe it got turned off. Maybe you know you, you need to work on your design just a touch um, and open up those negative spaces, but this this is what's going on. So short stitches alternates those stitches in and out to prevent all of your needle penetrations from lining up really tightly on the insides of curves, on the insides of angles, and uh, kind of cutting your fabric. Now there are a few settings for it. So if I go into let's scroll into this E. So this is doing it again. You can see in here how that's alternating. If I right click and I go to properties, my short stitches is enabled under top stitching. But if I go to advanced, there are a few more settings for me under short stitch parameters. I can change the width so I can I can change that to like 75 and they come closer or farther out. I can bring this back in. If I wanted way deeper short stitches, you could bring that in a little bit more. You can also change the threshold. That's when that's being kicked in. So, you know, how much of a space of the inside versus the outside before that, that starts kicking in. And what I mean by that is when the outside set versus the inside set or, or space between those stitches really starts to change, that's when it's going to start kicking in. If, if the inside is this, you know, much smaller than the outside, go ahead and kick it in. You can change that with that setting. Um, the other thing that we do is we, we enable you to <laughs> enable you to disable um, your short stitches depending on a stitch line width length. So typically when I'm dealing with very small things, very small elements. Um, I probably don't want those short stitches because if, I, if I'm dealing with very thin stitch lines, 
um, very thin columns, typically I don't want those short stitches because then I start sinking a bunch of stitches that are smaller than my needle and that can give me a thread break. So in the software, uh, we, we have a default set to being shorter than, uh, to disable it if the stitch line is shorter than 20 points. So anytime, you know, I'm getting close to where my short stitches would be smaller than my needle, it's going to automatically disable. So short stitches is a way to help you out, um, not cut holes in your garments on the insides of curves, on the insides of sharp angles. Um, and you do have a lot of flexibility with how and when you want those to kick in for you. So take a look at that and that can definitely improve your sew out quality and improve, uh, again, those insides of those letters, the, the small lowercase letters, those negative spaces, any of those sharp angles and sharp curves.